Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, February 27th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across. Hoopster's mantra. Hoopster's a basketball player, right? Hmm. What would a mantra for that be? Well, I don't really know much about basketball. My point is... What I mean... Hmm... Set for the afternoon. Set for the afternoon. So this is wordplay. My first... Well, set for the afternoon, I would think would just mean like... On its face, you'd mean I'm okay for the afternoon. I don't need anything else. So maybe the pun is with the word set. It could be like a tea set maybe, because usually take tea in the afternoon. Um, I don't know another word for tea set that doesn't have the word set in it though. Something tea maybe? Maybe it ends in tea? Inspect. Hmm. I'm such an idiot. This is a bracketed clue, so it's going to be an action. So would that be like a face palm? Ooh, that fits, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in. Hmm. So it doesn't end in T. Could begin with T, maybe. There's F up here now. Hmm. Material whose name is a Scandinavian county in French. What? Oh, man. No, a scan. Oh, sorry. A Scandinavian country in French. It's not much better, but... Oh, that could be Norway, Sweden, Finland. Hmm. I, I don't know any of the names of those in French. Stingray feature once. Maybe this is a car. I think there was a car called a stingray. I don't think you would describe anything on an animal as a feature. Um, hmm. Maybe T-top? Yeah, that's a car option sometimes. Singer Braxton, sister of Tony. Oh, I think I only know Tony Braxton, so I don't know her sister. Okay, individually. Hmm. Does it start with alone? I don't think that sounds right. Title character in a Sgt. Pepper song. Hmm. I might know this if I get some more help, but yeah, I'm not. As you know, my musical knowledge is not great, so I'm not gonna know it off the top of my head. Work it on the runway. Hmm. Like pose? Strut, maybe? Yeah, that's good. Four time Grammy winner Lyle. I think that's Lyle. Love it. Yeah. I think the only the only thing I know about Lyle Love It is he was married to Julia Roberts for a time. Okay, so maybe this is Suede. And then I guess the country would be Sweden, maybe that they're talking about there, so maybe suede means Sweden in French. Hmm. George Sand, title heroine. Uh, this author's name is not ringing bell for me. So I don't know if I'll know this. Oh, here we go. Tea service. That's a way to say a, a tea set, I think, right? My point is, that could be I mean to say. That's an equivalent phrase. Hoopster's mantra. It seems like the there's maybe a word split here. Left? Something left? This could be... 
Isadora, maybe. So maybe this is an eye lift? Life, maybe? Ooh, life. That could be part of a mantra. That sounds like a mantra word. So that could be an E. Inspect could be I. I'm just going to put the I in here. Hmm. Something is life, maybe? Woman's name that's also a plural suffix. Eens? Like, like it sounds like a chemical suffix. I guess that that could be right in... Enis would be the woman's name? Hmm, sounds okay, I guess. Blank. Mañanitas. Mexican birthday song. Um, mañana is tomorrow, so maybe this is the plural of tomorrow, tomorrows. Maybe it could be mas mañanitas, like more tomorrows. Hmm. Buzz off. Git? Could it start with git? Hmm. Renato's wife in Verdi's Unbalo in Mascera. Wow, yeah, I don't know that, definitely. I, I've never even heard of this before. Some deals from dealerships. Hmm. Not sure about that one. A couple of dollars. Okay, wordplay clue. They're asking for a couple things in dollars. It has to be L's. The letter L. Countenance. Um, I think a countenance can be your... Um, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a little unsure about the definition. I think your countenance can be like your face. Like your, um, maybe kind of like your demeanor, but I think it more means just like the, the sort of shape of your face. I think countenance can also mean like whether you can stand something. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that definition, actually. I think it might have another, another meaning, though. School softball. Another wordplay clue. A softball is like an easy question. Maybe when you relate that to school, it could be an easy class or an easy course. Could be an easy A, maybe. Whoops, what did I just do? Let me put this in by accident. Okay. <laughs> Buzz off. Does that bite me? <laughs> I guess that's, yeah, that's pretty pretty close in meaning. Uh, I want this to be like Imelda or something. Okay, I think, um, I think there's a word that's spelled mean, M-I-E-N, and I think that also has something to do with your appearance. I believe that's right, but hopefully, if I'm if I'm wrong, the goose can straighten me out here. Um, maybe it's Amelia, A. And then some deals from dealerships could be leases. Balm, that, that does not sound like a hoopster's mantra. Maybe it's ball is life, and then it's las mañanitas, the tomorrows maybe. Okay. Alternative to polyester, I guess that would be nylon, or artificial fabric. Home for a drone. They're talking about a B drone here, so that would be an apiary. Apiary. E. Oh no. Did I spell it incorrectly? I don't think so. Shoot, is it not apiary? So maybe it's anthill instead. Maybe they're talking about ants instead of bees. Wow, that's tricky. Although LN here. Let's get blank. Party cry. <laughs> Shouldn't that be let's get lit? So it's not apiary or anthill, but is apiary spelled A I? Hmm. 
props of sorts. Something to prop something up? Hmm. In the cloud, say. It'd be online, like you're storing something on the internet. It could just literally be asking for something in a literal cloud in the sky. Hmm. Night light. Moon? Moonbeam, maybe? Yeah. So it's not apiary either. What? Home for a drone. Hmm. I'm completely baffled by this clue now. Annual NYC event hosted by Vogue. Um, well, maybe it's the Met Gala. That would make sense because it's a, like a very fashion heavy event. So it makes sense that Vogue would host that. East of Eden Twin. I have not read that. I think that's a book. I think maybe it's a movie too. Actress, YouTube star, Blank Condor. Ooh. Getting too old. I don't know that one either. Kind of bowl ordered at a juice bar. That's got to be the acai bowl. Letter to the editor often. Mm. A letter to the editor is usually a complaint, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Fair from some bars. I don't know if they're going to be talking about a drinking bar. It could be like a sushi bar, maybe. Sushi would fit, but I, I feel fairly confident about Met Gala. But sushi is such a good answer here. Huh. Ron, who played Tarzan on old TV. Hmm. Vehicle equipped with with photovoltaic cells. That's got to be a solar car. Photo, vol, photovoltaic cells are solar panels. So, okay. And these letters all look good next to each other. Hmm. Schroeder plays one in the comics. Um, Schroeder's on Peanuts, right? He's the one that plays the piano. So maybe it's a toy piano. Yeah, that looks good. Well, all of these look fine. Let's let's look at these crosses here. I guess this could be Aaron, maybe. Still not gonna get that. Yeah, gripe. I said complaint, right? Okay, yeah, that's good. Fair from some bars. Okay, it could be a tapas bar. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get my APN drone here. They gave me. They threw me a bone. APN. Okay. So what in the world is this going to be? Air base. Oh, like a military drone. Okay. Yeah. Well, I kind of love this pair here. Okay. Uh, Lana Con Condor. Okay. I have no idea who that is. And Aaron. Okay. Aaron with one A. They usually clue that with uh, Elvis Presley's middle name because the 1A Aaron, I think, is kind of rare. So I guess this is a different way to clue that. All right, moving. This is going to be a general answer, like at, at it or something like that. Hmm. In the cloud could be stored. Props of sorts, tees, yeah, like a golf tee or a baseball tee. Moving. Hmm. That could be a stir. That's a word for moving, moving around. Dig for insights digitally. It's probably data mine. Some Pepperidge Farm cookies. Oh man, it's not chessmen. Um, I think is this the um the little like tablet shaped cookies with the chocolate in the middle? I'm blanking on what those are called, but I think. That's maybe what this is. I haven't had pe Pepperidge Farm cookies in about uh, I don't know, 20 years or so. Begrudge. Hmm. 
This is resent, I think, is kind of the connotation of begrudge. Yeah. When you say, I won't begrudge you if you do this, it means you, you won't be upset at someone if they do it. Yeah. Smart blank? That could be smart alec. Atomic clock timekeeper. Hmm. Is this a specific organization? Or is it like a part of the atomic clock? Hmm. Opposite of cheap eats. I guess that would be fine dining. Whole. In one piece? Yeah. Number one on a list. Seems like that should start with best, maybe. Of course it looks good on you, maybe. I guess that could be a fib, a little white lie. It's not exactly true. Hmm. I think I was thinking of a different cookie. This is not looking familiar to me. Forfeits, that can be seeds. If you're seeding territory, you're forfeiting it. What comes before old age? Um, a ripe old age? That makes me think of yesterday's clue. Um, ripe old age. Yeah, that was uh, yesterday's clue for a go was um, what comes after many years, I think. And the, the answer was a go because in the phrase a long time ago, a go comes after a long time. This, this sort of has that same feeling. What comes before old age, a ripe old age. It's not quite as tricky as yesterday's, but still a little on the harder side. Okay, so this is looking like best something. Hmm. Atomic clock timekeeper. I don't think it's a miser. Is it? Is it laser? Is, is, is data mine wrong? Take for insights. Hmm. I don't know about this. Interesting. Zip. That could be nil, another word for nothing. A bestseller, that would that would be good, yeah. Look at those Wheel of Fortune words on the bottom there. Um, Milano's, wait, maybe that is what I was thinking of, yeah. Okay, so Mazer, is this, is this right? This is, I've never seen this word before. Is it like a specific kind of laser that starts with an M? Hmm, I'm pretty dubious about this, but I'll leave it in for now. We gotta remember to come back if we don't get a completion at the end. Get Out Star Kaluuya. Oh my God, I love this movie. Um, I, I don't know the names of the actors though. Is it gonna be Daniel maybe? I don't know. Like now, at once, <laughs> if this is a demand, yeah. Do it like now. Okay, birth control pioneer Margaret, that's gonna be Margaret Sanger. Um, I think she started Planned Parenthood, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, prefix with binary, that could be non-binary. Au revoir, um, that's a word that's a way to say goodbye, right? So that could be ta-ta would be an equivalent phrase, yeah. Some diddy changers? Diddy? Hmm. What, what is this like a song, a diddy? I thought that was two Ds. Maybe I'm wrong though. Is it codas? like? It would change the the coda. A coda is like an end of a song. I don't know about that. Target. Hmm. Individually, is it all alone? Hmm. I guess it could be. This could be an L. Jokester. 
Is that Alec? Smart Alec? Don't we have Alec in the puzzle already somewhere? Am I misremembering that? Hmm. I guess it could be Alec. This would be an E and a C. Wiz Khalifa's We Blank Boys. I don't think I know this song. Shoot. All right, well, let's maybe we can just try and start fresh up here. Two-time FIFA Women's World Player of the Year, 2001, 2002. I think that has to be Mia Hamm. That's the only soccer player I know from that era. Like Castaways before being Castaway. I guess you could be a C. You could be on a boat on the on the water. Hmm. Selassie of Ethiopia. Hmm. I don't know this. I, I don't recognize this word, Selassie. What this is an example of. A little happy, happy face with arms up. Uh, so that could be maybe ASCII art. Yeah. Because the character that's using the ASCII characters. Okay. Trope seen in rom-coms. That's definitely a meet cute. I think that was clued um, the reverse in a puzzle a week or two ago. It was a meet cute in a rom rom com, and the answer was trope. Okay, rub the right way. Wordplay clue. Rub the right way. Well, the rub could be like a tricky situation. Hmm. I don't know where the pun is here. Could it be right? Hmm. Clinches. I don't think it's aces. Hmm. Moves like a butterfly. That should be flits. Butterflies are set, they're described as flitting around, I think. Pioneer in 35 millimeter cameras. That could be Leica, yeah. It's like a famous classic camera brand. Or Leica, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Switched on, could that be flicked on? Hmm, that sort of, sort of works. Hmm, this is not looking familiar to me. Wow, oh, individually it's a la carte, like on a menu. Ooh, that's a real tricky one. This has got to be Isadora. Okay, so maybe it's Tracy. Okay, that 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 makes sense. That's a plausible name there, Tony and Tracy. Okay, a jokester could be a card. Yeah, like you're a cut up jokester. Mr. Kite, maybe? Huh. We, we duh boys, we D's boys. Hmm. Some ditty changers. Okay. Is it, is it, is this a slang term for a diaper? And then it would be dadas, like dads. Then this could be Daniel. I guess that's, I gotta put it in. I don't know what, I don't think we're going to have any better chance at getting it. Diddy changers. I've never seen this as a, a word for a diaper before. Uh, and then target could be aim at. Yeah, because I thought this was Mr. Kite with an I, right? We dem boys. Yeah, that makes sense as a answer. Yeah, for that. Like a slang term for them, I guess. Okay. Hmm. This has to be a person. I want this to be an L, maybe? Uh, that doesn't make sense, though. Its birthstone is Peridot. I guess it's gotta be August. So, is this massage? Oh, rub the right way. Yeah, okay. So, maybe it's um, eight, two A's in a row? Holla? Could that be right? Wow. Hala Selassie. Okay. 
aces, clinches. Hmm. Maybe this is like, if you do really well on an exam, you aced it, you clinched it. Does that make, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense to me. Aces. Well, let's try an A anyway and see if it works. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe it's ices. Is that right? Oh, it is ices. Interesting. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make that much sense to me. Ices. Clinches. I guess... Have I heard ices in that... Used in that way before? Hmm. You iced it. You clinched it. Okay. I don't think I knew that it had... A, that that word could have that connotation. All right. Well, we finished off the puzzle. And... Yeah, I think... um. Yeah, I think these are really fun, long answers here. Uh, yeah, all of these are pretty good. Yeah, th these were like nice, I guess they're not long answers, they're kind of like longer answers, but they were all really good. And um, I think there was a lot of fun wordplay in this puzzle. It was difficult, but not like punishingly difficult. And yeah, there was a lot of, yeah, there was a lot of good lateral thinking going on here. Yeah, this is great. And I actually, I think it was maybe a little easier than yesterday. I just had so much trouble on yesterday's puzzle. I felt like I struggled a lot more than I did on today's. Um, yeah. Uh, a little bit of weird fill here, but yeah, I think overall this is a really nice puzzle. What is, okay. I guess the goose probably already told us what a maser is, so maybe you already know. Boy, I'll be interested to see what that means. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow with the nice big themed Sunday puzzle. All right, I'll see you next time.